I'll be brief because I realize you do have questions. I, I had three major things I wanted to just mention. First, I want to acknowledge that it was one of our graduates, uh, Gabe Zimmerman, who was shot and killed in Arizona last week. He was a sociology graduate from UC Santa Cruz um, and uh, was working for uh, as a congressional liaison. Um, after leaving Santa Cruz, he got a graduate degree. We really, he lived a life that was really showed what, what Santa Cruz is all about. He was engaged in public service, service to the community. He, was, he really represented the interface between the con Congresswoman's office and the community in Arizona. So he really was, was a very special person, and I know his loss will be felt deeply by his family, by the people he worked with, and frankly, by us as well, because he was one of our prominent graduates. You probably know already at 11 o'clock this morning, the governor released um, his proposed state budget, which included $500 million of cuts to U the University of California system. $500 million. Um, that was out of a budget that began the year, or, or that we had last year, of uh, something like uh, $2.9 billion. So um, that's a significant budget cut. I think, uh, I can't do the math in my head, but I think it's like a 16 or 17 percent cut. Uh, 16 or 17 percent sounds bad, but it's even worse when you put it in the context of all of the cuts that we've had to endure over the past few years. And it will be a challenge for the campus. The good news is that um, uh, we have not been profligate with our spending of the increased money that we got last year. So. Uh, uh, our EVC has um, kept some reserve from that increase, so it isn't as though uh, it'll be a complete cut, but um, it's still going to be painful because we will have to cut a number of things. And um, I don't want to minimize it, but I guess I would say it could have been worse. Uh, do you see any hope of the state's position on the public education changing, and do you think the regents are doing That's a good question. Do I um, do I hold? Do I think things can change? And presumably, you're saying change for the better. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I do. I mean, I, I I think that there are real options. There, the governor has talked about putting an initial, you know, a ballot measure on the ballot in June to uh, not allow the taxes that were going to expire, uh, to not let them expire. If that's approved by the voters, that will be some additional cash for the state to work with in the short run. And secondly, um, since he is taking the hard line of actually balancing the budget, that means we won't be in this, con you know, as we've seen over the last few years, we get a new budget, but it's balanced with smoke and mirrors. So if they indeed have submitted a budget today that is not balanced with smoke and mirrors, as painful as it is, I think that um, that means going forward we'll have more to work with and, and a greater chance of an upside for the state budget. And certainly as the, as the economy in California and the nation improves, that will also help us a lot. Uh, so I, I, I am somewhat optimistic, and I'd remind you that in California, tax revenues are almost entirely, or not, the, the vast majority of tax revenues are income tax and sales tax kinds of taxes, which are the most subject to ups and downs due to the economy. Pro we have a relatively low property taxes because of Prop 13. So. Um, that means that as the economy improves, there'll be greater opportunity for more tax revenue to go into education. So I, I think I'm somewhat, I, I'm somewhat optimistic that in the long run, even after a tough year this year, w things can improve. Uh, when, I'm not so sure of. The second part of your question is, are the regents doing enough? Um, I think they actually the regents really are committed to the university. I know that a number of them have been very active in Sacramento. I've certainly been very active in Sacramento, and I'm really pleased that um, our students and alumni are also active in Sacramento. I think last year uh, was probably the most effective year I've ever seen in terms of lobbying in Sacramento. 